him right when I sang with Capture Tracks actually because at the time they were they were sharing an office literally it was uh, one one room like this and it was uh, Capture Tracks at a desk and Caleb with Sacred Bones at another desk side by side Mike Sniper and Caleb so I met him at that time and uh, I don't know we always had this sort of look in the eye like we're, we're eventually gonna work with each other and uh, yeah finally it happened I'm not sure if, if, if I'm calling myself the criminal or the album itself is criminal based on my confessions to decisions I've made in the past, things that I normally keep secret. I just feel like the world lacks a lot of reality in terms of music. Uh, most music I feel today, um, it's, it's more of escapism. A lot of music is all about like Friday night, Saturday night, the club and this and that. And I don't know, I just feel like when I first listened to music, for instance, Prince, he was really saying something. Like he, he was using music as a vessel to really express who he is, you know, like about like it could be sex, it could be drugs, it could be whatever. But he was talking, he was actually saying something. And I felt like uh, in the beginning, that's, that was my first hearing music for the first time and, and, and realizing that, okay, music is about 
talking, uh, expressing yourself, release or whatever, but at least you're communicating. So I, I've always had that approach uh, for me. Yeah, like being honest and being real and talking about the world as it is, is, is almost a criminal act. What's up, Berlin?
were able to play three concerts was pretty incredible. That's uh, a new thing for us. Yeah, I, I tr we tried our best to give each night something a little bit different because I, I had heard that at least 30 to 40 people had bought tickets for all three nights. So I was kind of thinking about those guys, you know? Um, so what we did was during rehearsals before, like preparing for this tour, we made sure to have like a lot of songs in our back pockets for occasions like this. The second night uh, was a little bit different. We played a lot more B-sides, I guess. Um, maybe a couple more tracks off the EP, things like that. And then for the final night, we kind of went back to the first set, um, but with um, different track order and a couple extra new songs. We've definitely enhanced the, the actual live set. We've been touring for you know close to eight years and um, just wanted to do something fresh. And also too, I mean, over time, I've been writing a lot more um, electronic-based songs. Um, I mean, it's, it's like 50-50 electronic and, and rock. So I just felt like it would be really cool to, for those songs, for the electronic-based songs, that I, I would, we, would, we would switch on stage somehow and play actual like, electronic instruments and kind of just go for it in that way. In terms of new songs, um, Like a Father, probably one of my favorites, and Give Something, the, the slower song. I, I, like, I like to perform any sort of song that is cathartic. Because for, for me, the, the major point of performing live, it's not, it's not, it's not a whole look, it's not a look at me sort of thing. It's, a, it's just a release, you know? Because I, 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 growing up, I didn't really express myself, uh, my emotions and things like that. So now I'm, I'm kind of like desperate to, to speak my mind and also at the same time, speaking to people and getting feedback in terms of how they connect, things like that. That makes me feel like I'm not alone and there's a lot of people that are struggling in the same way as I am, and so there's a release. I think for that tour, it's gonna be boy harsher for the, the entire tour. Um, sometimes we, what we'll do is we'll, we'll separate it in, into regions within the states, and we'll bring bands, like for instance, we had Sextile, but we had them like in, Northern California, I think we also played one show in LA, and then we switched to another band when we went like Midwest, and then another band when we went to the East Coast. Um, but for this tour in the States, it, it will be boy harsher for the entire tour. Yeah, it is the, uh, the remix that I just completed. That's gonna get released, um, I think right before uh, the, U the U.S. tour. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. I'm, I'm very happy with that remix. Um, I can't tell you too many details, <laughs> but uh, no, we have a great time together. We met at the Cloak and Dagger Festival in Los Angeles, um, and we, we hit it off immediately. Yeah, it's like I, He just felt very familiar to me. And it's weird, I haven't told him this, but uh, I just hung out with him in the uh, in Netherlands and uh, I realized that he resembles a childhood friend that I had. And uh, I was, that could be part of the reason where I was kind of drawn to him, his character, his personality, whatever. But aside from that, no, he's like a kindred spirit. And, and I think we look at the music industry in the same way. What are the guys that are trying to feel the void, you know, like what, what the industry lacks, you know, the music industry lacks. And we're trying to bring very honest and very raw and real emotions and bring reality um, into music.
That's a heavy one for me, guys. One of my favorite songs I've ever written. It makes 